Good morning. New Year's Eve, last day of 2020. Boy, won't we all be glad to turn the page on this one. Well, um, I've been uh, having to deal with some other things the last few days, so haven't been able to do this, but I've been looking forward to showing off what my main cosmetic Christmas gift to myself. Urban Decay Stone Vibes Vault. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. It's so beautiful. Every year there's kind of one set or one thing that's like really special, and I think this year that's this. And um, also, I, it, I managed to get it when it was half price, so that made it that made it very more much more attractive to me. But anyway, so this beautiful eyeshadow with lots of this kind of marbled colors and very shimmery, well, with a couple of um, mattes. And then um, I think my favorite part is these incredible lip glosses are just so... Oh my gosh, they're so sparkly and beautiful. I mean, I'm going to have to devote full days just to these lip glosses. So, um, oh, they're a little hard to get out. <laughs> there's, a, there's like a rose gold and a gold gold and then an incredible purple with with pink and blue sparkles and a copper a really beautiful copper color and they all have this like you know jewel shaped top well I think I'm going to keep the purple one out for today and then um four eyeliners and a pretty highlighter which is in like Rocks, stoned vibes. So this is pretty fun, and I'm excited to do fun stuff with it here. So um, I've usually been just relying on the black eyeliner at the end, but I really want to try these pencils. There's a purple, a copper, a dark brown, and a gold, and a one and a well, the purples I want to try. Slides on really nicely. While I was waiting for the program to boot, I already did my foundation with Milani 2-in-1 Concealer Foundation. Well, it glides well, but it's a little bit of a strange color. It's not really, it's much more of a plum than a purple. Well, I'm sure I'm going to end up still putting black eyeliner on top, but just wanted to test that out. So now I'm going to the, and gosh, it's heavy, but also it's so pretty. It's, all this purple and uh, some bling bling on top. I love it. Excellent packaging job. Well, I'm about to go to a, a doctor's appointment checkup and I'm going to be a little bit overdressed for it but what the heck it's it's near Z right well and um I think I I will probably do a second show today when I can before tonight I'll put like extra sparkle on because that's the day to do it that's the day that nobody can say that you shouldn't have sparkle on or that's too much.
we all deserve to get our yayas out somehow, and if I want to do it with glittery eyeshadow, today's my holiday. Oh, such pretty colors. It's a little hard to decide how to... Well, I'm, this is new to me. It's the second time I'm using this. I'm not sure what color to call that. The rose, rose moths, and here it's called meditate. So for Urban Decay as a brand, they They've definitely always appealed to me with their packaging. I mean, they really do have a cool vibe. And this is definitely one of the most beautiful kits I've ever seen. And it, it certainly meets my sparkle criteria. They're not boring colors. I just found a new site for incredible nail polish, really gorgeous holographic nail polish colors that I wish there were um, eyeshadows like those colors. <laughs> Maybe they are somewhere I have to find them. But they're not just glittery, but hol the holographic, you know, duo chrome effect, which I love. And right now I just have New Year's Sparkly. Alright, well, you know, these colors are definitely a little bit different on Wow, that's quite metallic. Sometimes fingers are your best applicators. Oh, speaking of which, I just heard that that um, Pat McGrath was given a um, a dame ship, like being like a lord and um, in. It's like being knighted by the queen. It's the female equivalent of being a knight. And um, Pat McGrath says she, she, she likes using her fingers too. And she's one of the best makeup artists supposedly in the world. And now she's Dame Pat McGrath. Well, Dame Ma Pat McGrath, I would love to try your stuff, but it's just too expensive for me. Okay, so that's it for the for the shadow palette today, but I will be coming back to it and giving it more experiments. Some definitely more color combos to try. There's a beautiful green in there. Okay, so that and now my 
eyeliner. Well, look, it is really flaky, this stuff. Oh, so I need a good brush. Oh, I want to go. There's about to be a tribute to Don Wells and from Gilligan, Gilligan's Island. You died of COVID yesterday. Uh, I want to see that. So I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick here. Whoop. Milk makeup, Kush eye uh, mascara. Okay, so I'm trying to do a quick brows with the pencil, with the pencil. Like, this used to be my best brow pencil, but it seems like it's running out of, out of mileage or something. No, oh, it's still there. Oh, God, I'm too close to see what I'm doing. Sometimes it's not good to be that close. Well, I'm definitely going to redo my hair either tonight or tomorrow. You know, hopefully tonight. I'm really, it's a little overdue, but I was in the hospital and stuff, so I kind of went down the um, priority line, um, list. So, another little Christmas stocking stuffer, Clinique Chubbies. What color is called? Something peony. What I really want to do is get this glitter lipstick on top. Oh my god, and it tastes, it's like they're, these are um, flavored like junior mints. Oh, that is a beautiful color. 
I love it. I'm going to leave it out because I'll probably have to reapply later. But I'm going to be back later to do more like a glitter, a glitter overlay on this. And um, more sparkle. So thank you. Take care. I will see you soon. I will be back a little bit later with sparkle time.